Oh my god, I lost my <laughs> Back to my channel Ooh, what? you're getting a new uh, little sneak preview at my uh, new apartment that I'm living in video to follow eventually once we get kind of situated and get everything set up I'll take you on a grand tour of my new place before we get started make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos story time this is about to get crazy. I apologize in advance for the foul language that is about to be broadcasted in this video. And if you have a problem with foul language, I suggest clicking somewhere else right now or just watching because I'm gonna bleep it anyway. <sighs> Game face. So as many of you know, I work on set all the time. Constantly on set, it's my job, it's what I do to make a living to live. I usually take public transportation or use my legs to go to set. Sometimes I'll Uber and Lyft depending on where I need to go and how much the Uber slash Lyft may cost, but lately I've been taking a lot of public transportation. So today was a lovely day. I had to be on set at 6 a.m. Um, which means I had to wake up at 4 a.m. to leave my apartment at 5 a.m. to catch the bus that was at 5, 10 a.m. Because it was a like an eight minute walk from my apartment to the bus stop. So I woke up on time, got all done, got all ready, was pretty tired because I didn't find out that I was working until like 10 at night and then to have to work at 6 a.m., you know, just you don't get the most sleep when you have to be up and, you know, take public transport because I didn't have a car. Um, but, so, went to the bus stop, was talking on the phone with my beautiful mother, I think, that was horrifying. I'm slowly just gonna pan into you being in the doorway without me even noticing how long were you there? Not long. I almost busted out laughing. That was so scary. So then I'm waiting for the bus for about 15 minutes. The bus is running late and I'm just waiting there. It's 5 a.m. It's dark. There's a fair amount of homeless people where I live and I was getting a little nervous. Out of the corner of my eye, I see the bus coming and I'm like, oh, thank God. Get me on this bus, $1.75. Take me to where I need to go. We're good. So as the bus approaches, I see that it is in service. There are a few people on it, maybe like four or five people on the bus. And I see the bus driver. Now, she sees me. We lock eyes, full on lock eyes. We are in this together. We are in this moment together. And I give her a little wave like, hey, I'm trying to get on this bus. What does this do? She ignores me and drives right past me and leaves. <laughs> oh my God, I lost my I was on the phone with my mom, literally screaming in downtown LA at five in the morning, using every cuss word in my, oh, I'm getting irritated. I was on the verge of tears because already I didn't have a lot of sleep. So I'm already in a fragile state and it's 5 a.m. And I just wanted to take the bus to get to work. I literally was calling her every name in the book. She was up. I was so mad, I was losing it because literally you have one job as a bus driver and that is to stop the bus. You literally, all you have to do is stop at the stop let people on and go about your freaking day. It's not hard. So at this point, I have like 35 minutes till I have to get to work now and the next bus isn't showing up for another 30 minutes because that <laughs> didn't stop to pick me up. So I'm really irritated. I walk back to my apartment, sit down for a little bit, wait for the Uber price to just drop a little. I don't know why it was so expensive at 5.30 in the morning. There was no traffic, there was nobody around. Wasn't going that far. Um, but I waited, the price dropped a little, I called my Uber, got in, whatever. It was fine. But seriously, like what the hell? Like there were other people at the stop with me and thankfully none of them had to get on that specific bus. But what if they did? You just left all these people at a freaking bus stop because you were, and you were already running. How are you running late? 
she was already running late, so I'm sure in her mind she was like, Well, I'm already off schedule. Let me just skip a couple stops. But how are you running late when there's no traffic? It's 5.30 in the morning, and you only had four people on your freaking bus. Like, there is no reason that you should have not been able to stop at every stop and pick people up at 5 in the morning. Like, what would have happened if I was relying so much on this bus and I had no other means of transportation? I would have missed my job. What would have happened if I got, like, murdered because I didn't get on this bus? But you know what? It's fine. I'm over-exaggerating. Drama king. It's okay. It's who I am. It was so frustrating because, A, I could have slept in longer if I knew I was just going to Uber. And I wouldn't have had to go out of my way and walk to a bus stop, wait for, like, 15 minutes for the bus that was late and then not get picked up. So it was just an annoying day. I don't know why public transport is quite like that. Welcome to LA, where literally nobody follows the rules. The bus drivers don't stop. They don't care at the one thing they have to do, and you get left in the dark at 5 a.m. by a bus stop and have to spend more to call an Uber to go to work at 5 a.m in the dark. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little rant. I know I feel a little bit better expressing it on the camera and just getting it out. Leave in the comments below if this has ever happened to you, if you're as irritated as I am, or leave a comment on what you want to see next or hear about or anything really. Leave a, just, just leave a comment, you know, do you. And like I said, I'm in a new apartment now. I love it so so much so there'll be a video to come soon of a big tour of my whole apartment you're just seeing a little bit of the bedroom that's not entirely still set up it's just like beds right now ah! um but it'll be all set up within a week or two and then hopefully you guys will get to see everything so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next time bye